Welcome to Positive Thinking TV. God is able to do just what he said he will do. What is that problem or challenge that is giving you sleepless nights? Is it that lethal medical reports? Or the anticipated poor performance in that exam or interview? Or is it the rumored retrenchment, sack, or redeployment? Is it the negative pregnant test reports? Whatever it is, do you think there is no hope or solution again? Do you think that all hope is gone? Well, you have got it all wrong. There is no lateness or hopelessness or difficulty or impossibility situation with God. If he has said he will do it, you can bank on him and be rest assured that it will be done. For the Lord has said in Psalms 89 verse 34, my covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. With that assurance from God, you do not need to be jittery or fret over what God has said he is going to do. Being jittery only exposes either your faithlessness or ignorance of his powers. Unless he hadn't said it or you don't believe in him. But, if he has said it and you believe and trust in him, then you have no cause to worry. For it is settled, or had the Lord ever spoken and couldn't bring it to pass? Impossible. In Numbers, chapter 23 verse 19 says, God is not a man, that he should lie, neither the son of man, that he should repent, hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Therefore, concerning that seeming predicament, an impregnable and hopeless situation, God is saying that he will rescue you, you will come out victorious. In Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 to 20 the Lord says, Remember ye, not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, my chosen. Those sound difficult and impossible, isn't it? But, God always meant what he says. In other words, God is saying that, seemingly impossibility is possible with him. The scriptures made it clear, that there is no impossibility with God. In Luke chapter 1 verse 37 it says, For with God nothing shall be impossible, Mark chapter 10 verse 27 collaborated it when it says, And Jesus looking upon them saith, With men, it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Also, in Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27, God asked, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? What makes God, God are these three exclusive qualities. God is a minipotent, meaning that, God can do all things. God is omnipotent. He is everywhere. And God is all powerful. He knows everything. And you can't have a personality with these qualities. And continue to be anxious, worried, and troubled. No, not when He is on your side. And God is always on the side of His redeemed. Hear Him in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. The reference is to you that believe and trust in him. So if you have God, who I am sure you have, then, you don't need to be troubled or anxious or worried about any situation that presents itself contrary to his words and promises. Unless either you don't truly know him or know his powers, or you don't believe in him, or you don't know your rights and privileges in him. Whichever, I bring to your knowledge this hour that the Lord God of hosts is all-powerful, able, and capable of all things. All you need do is commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Psalms 37 verse 5 In furtherance to the aforesaid, the scriptures says, in Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? And the obvious answer is nothing. In Genesis chapter 18 verse 14. 
the angels of God asked. Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. The question although rhetorical, still maintains the obvious answer nothing. And remember, this question is coming at the heel of a woman over 70 years of bareness. Genesis chapter 17 verse 15 to 21. Verse 15, And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. Verse 16, And I will bless her, and give thee a son also of her, yea, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations, kings of people shall be of her. Verse 17, Then Abraham fell upon his face, and laughed, and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old? And shall Sarah, that is ninety years old, bear? Verse 18, And Abraham said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. Verse 19, And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. Verse 20, And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee, behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly, twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. Verse 21, But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. Genesis chapter 18 verse 9 to 15. Verse 9, And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. Verse 10, And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life, and, lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Verse 11, Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Verse 12, Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? Verse 13, And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I have a surety bear a child, which am old? Verse 14, Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Verse 15, Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. Genesis chapter 21 verse 1 to 3. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Verse 2, For Sarah conceived, and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. Verse 3, And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. If God can visit Sarah with a child of her own. At the age of 90. When she was long past the age of childbearing. Then your own case is so minor unless it is not with God. That. There is no impossible situation with God. Was clearly spelled out in Luke chapter 1 verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And that nothing is hard with God. Was also made clear in Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? Those are assurances of no difficulty and no impossibility with God. If God can remember Sarah, Hannah, Elizabeth, etc. And turn their situations around for good. He will do yours also. God is able and capable and willing to help you. Only believe obey and trust in Him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father and God of all possibility. We thank you for who you are and for your love for us. Forgive us all the times that we have been faithless and thereby limiting your possibilities in our lives. Therefore, dear Lord, we now acknowledge that you are omnipotent, omnipresent and omniscient. We also acknowledge that you love us and want to do us good. Therefore, mighty Father brings your miracle working powers to these situations that have been frightening in our lives. Thank you because you have heard us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, 
Our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We love you.